Hello all of my Honda Pacific Coast friends. I thought I'd give another quick update today on what's going on with the fuel injection project. Right now I'm running a uh, magical tuning program to help uh, tune the idle, or rather the warm-up enrichment. Uh, it's kind of cold out right now and the engine's cold, so this is a good time to do it. <clears throat> you can see that uh, this is where I'm operating right now, where this little green dot is, and it's collecting data that it's going to use to um, correct the the initial setup that I, I had built earlier, just basically on guesswork. You can see the engine's idling a little low. Um, that's because I have the throttle all the way closed. The throttle's set to be closed and idle at 1100 RPM when the engine's warm. When it's not, it idles a little slower. Um, so you can see there's a bunch of data being collected down here. The um, blue line is the air fuel ratio, which looks like it's running, uh, where is it at? 13.5 right now. So just a little bit rich, but that's fine when it's cold. You can see here's the manifold air pressure. And uh, ambient here is about 80 to 85. Um, and here you can see it's starting to build up uh, calculation errors to try to figure out how to correct our line. So, I've uh, spent a little time tidying up some of the wires. You can see here, there's a lot more convolute tubing everywhere to try to contain everything. Uh, even down over into this side. So that's nice and bundled up. I'll be ready to put the seat on here pretty soon, I think, to try to take it out for a test ride. I finally bothered putting this sticker on that I'd had forever. Um, previous owner to actually install the Canon air filter, which I cleaned a while back. Just give you a larger view here of the bike. Uh, anyway, last weekend I tried to tune it and I had a problem where uh, as soon as the temperature hit 160 degrees for the coolant uh, sensor, the bike would suddenly become super lean and cut out. <clears throat> and I, I was able to repeat this several times and to be able to restart the bike I had to let it cool down below 160 degrees for the coolant temperature sensor, uh, otherwise it wouldn't restart. And I, I don't know what was going on, had some theories, uh, several of my friends uh, from college ch chimed in with some good ideas which I was going to track down. I also talked with um, Matt at DIY Autotune where most of my fuel injection equipment came from uh, and he had some good ideas and then the people over at the MS Extra forum had a lot of good ideas as well. So I was planning yesterday on Friday evening to test them all out, see what was going on. So came down here, started the bike up. I had a, a voltmeter going on the uh, fuel pump to see if maybe that was cutting out and a few other things, uh, probing different parts of it, looking at the fuel pressure and whatnot. And uh, I let it warm up and it went right past 160 to 170 up to 210, no problem. Uh, didn't cause any problems at all. So I had no idea why last week I had those weird problems and this week no problem at all. Um, hopefully it doesn't reoccur, but with any project like this, you never know and there might be a gremlin that pops up once in a while. So anyway, I'm letting the bike warm up slowly here. Let's see what this is looking like now. So our coolant temperature is still pretty cold. Um, but it'll start to warm up here over time. We're, we're still down here about, looks like 60 degrees, 65 degrees for the coolant. And it does take a while. You know, we're in Colorado, it's cold. It's supposed to maybe snow five to 10 inches tonight, even though it's May 9th, so there's that. Um, yeah, I'll upload this and let everybody see what's going on. It's coming along, I think I'm just about ready to uh, strap my tiny little netbook here that I put windows onto uh, into this little bag that'll go up here. It'll stick on the tank pretty well. Um, or the, the fake tank, or even just on the air filter if I don't put, bother putting the fake tank back on to test. And I'll be able to ride around in the parking lot here. Um, I have a nice little test area, as you can see. Oh, and that's my new truck over there. Another plum, new toy. Um, anyway, I'll start to be able to ride around in first gear to be able to get a better tune. So eventually I can get this thing on the highway. I'll be able to take it over to the DMV finally, get it titled in Colorado, and get a Colorado plate. And finally, after almost, what is this, a year and a half, be back on the road with the Pacific Coast after all those problems I had coming out from Oregon when I got uh, nearly 100% ethanol fuel out of desperation in Wyoming. So soon this will all be up on the fuel injection and things will be good.